Hey, what's up, guys? Kevin of KN Media. Today, we are looking at the absolutely wonderful, amazing, beautiful 24 to 105 millimeter Canon L zoom lens. This thing is amazing. Um, so, this will be the first review where Nikki and I actually get to do the review together. So, I'm going to do the first half of it and then she'll take care of the second half. But first, we're going to start off by taking a good look at the outside of the lens. Um, yeah, so first of all, it is a zoom lens, like I said. So the focal length is from 24 millimeters to 105 millimeters with a full sensor camera. If you have a crop sensor camera like ours, the T3i, I believe it starts at 38 millimeters. But just for those who are using a 50 millimeter lens, like the difference is incredible. We're going to compare the two later in this video, so definitely look out for that. So, um, yeah, you have your autofocus and your manual focus, obviously. And it also has a stabilizer on it, so you can turn it on or off. And then it also is a USM lens, which means ultrasonic, which refers to the motor. So it's extremely, extremely quiet, especially compared to the 50 millimeter um, 1.8 lens. And it's also very, very, very fast. Like it focuses in a snap. So yeah, we're gonna take it, or I'm gonna show it to you guys with the lens hood on. If I can get the lens hood, please. Thanks, your dog. So we have the lens hood here. It is the EW83H lens hood by Canon. It has like a uh, fiber type material on the inside. So when uh, sunlight hits it, it won't reflect in the lens at all. Like it'll just absorb it. So let's just uh, show you how to put this on too, I guess. So you pretty much just line up the uh, dots. There's like a little dash on the side here. So you put the, let's see, this way. So you line up the dot and the dash, and then twist, lock, that's it, nice and simple. It looks very good, very professional. And um, yeah, and a lot of people say, or not say, but some people have said that the lens uh, would fall or drop when it's pointing downward. That's absolutely not true. Um, there's no lens creep, as they call it. Uh, what else? Oh, also, with the lens hood, you can um, flip it around and you can put it on this way as well for when you're storing it or, you know, just not using it and you still have access to take the lens cap off. And uh, the filter size is uh, 77 millimeters. And we have a uh, Hoya, a Hoya um, Pro One Digital. UV filter on it right now. Looks very good, very professional, top of the line, and it works very, very nicely. So, yeah, that's a good look at the, you know, the exterior of the lens. So now we'll take a look at some pictures we've taken with it, and then we'll move on to other parts of this review. So now let's take a look at one of the photo shoots we did. So I'm just going to show you some of the pictures. Um, we just want to show you how good the quality is with this L lens. I'm going to zoom in here for you. Everything's really sharp. As you can see, the branch is really in focus. And the background has bokeh. And for those of you who don't know what bokeh is, that's just the blurriness in the background. And um, makes the model stand out. And here's another picture I'm going to show you. This was shot at f4. And this one has a lot more color. His head is really standing out. Everything's really in detail. Very sharp. Really good quality picture. And just so you know, these... Um, the links to the, all the pictures are going to be put in the description box, 
So you could take a look at them on your computer and see how good the quality is. Here's another picture. As you can see it's very sharp, a lot of bokeh in the background. See the background, the branches. Models more in focus. This was a really fun shoot, but there's a lot of pictures that are nice, but I can only show you a few. And here's another one. Nice in for you. A lot of quality right there. You can see the difference between the tree and its head. They're both very in focus right here. As you can see, the ground is really in focus as well. And then backing up over here, Boca. And all of their pictures were shot in F4, by the way, which is the lowest aperture that it, um, the L lens can go. And it's the nice lighting right here. You can see the quality of this picture is really nice. He stands out, the background is blurred out. Very detailed right here in the pants. Now moving on to one of our other shoots. This is a different type of shoot, obviously. I'm gonna try to find a good picture, zoom on for, zoom in for you. This one is very detailed, very high quality. The tires look really awesome. And the ground is really in focus. You can see all the grittiness of the ground. All that detail. You can even see like a little part that's not so nice on the car for how good the quality is for this picture. And once again, these will be in the description box, so um, you could check them on your computers and make sure you see the quality of the pictures on your computers. So now let's move on to the zoom feature of our lens. All right, so now we're taking a good look at the zoom feature of the lens. Right now we are zoomed all the way out at 24, or it would be 24 on a full frame sensor camera, but this is a crop sensor camera. So as I mentioned a little earlier in the, in the video, I think it, I believe it's around 38 millimeters right now. So now we will zoom in. Right here we are at 50 millimeters. And as you can see, we have a nice Cowboy Studio softbox over there, but that'll be for another video. At 70 millimeters right now, And all the way at its uh, longest focal length of 105 right now. So let's do that one more time. We're at 50 here, 70 here, and 105 here. All right, so now we're gonna take a look next at the uh, the little noise that you can hear with the image stabilization on. So now we're going to take a look at the image stabilization of this lens. And right now I'm actually holding the camera and in the previous parts of the video it was on the tripod. And the image stabilization is on right now and it's fully zoomed all the way out. So I'm going to, it's actually kind of hard to tell. Um, about the image stabilization when it's all the way zoomed out. So I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. And it's easier to see that way. And we're just gonna, I'm gonna be quiet for a few seconds 
and just move it around so the motor actually has to work. And we're gonna see if you guys can hear anything from the motor. So here we go. Okay, so now that that was on, we're gonna switch it, the stabilization to off. And I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. And we're gonna see if you hear any noise and just see how, what the difference is, if it's more shaky and stuff like that. All right, so that's the difference between both on and off of the, for the image stabilization. And now we are gonna do a comparison to our 50 millimeter lens that we have. All right, so now this is the uh, example of what we can get as far as the uh, field of view with the 24 to 105 lens. We're gonna keep the camera on a tripod in the exact same spot and then we're gonna put the 50 millimeter on and see the difference between the two lens and just how much it can see. So I wanna point out two things. One, let's take note right over here. You can see this wall and the garbage can in the, in the kitchen. I was gonna say the chicken. Maybe I'm just hungry. Anyway, <laughs> you can see that you can see the entire full body of Nikki. And then over here, you can see the door. Okay, so now we're gonna switch to the 50 millimeter and we'll see the difference. And uh, once again, this is, the lens is all the way zoomed out right now. Had 24 on a full frame uh, camera, but on a crop sensor camera like the T3i, I believe it's at 38. So it's pretty much the difference between 38 millimeters and 50, meter, 50 millimeters, essentially. So now let's move on to the nifty 50. All right, so now there's a very obvious difference uh, of what you get with the 50 millimeter lens. We actually would say it's a sharper lens, but you know, being stuck at that 50 millimeter range, you know, it's only good in some circumstances, and then obviously having a zoom lens is good in other circumstances. So. We just wanted to show you guys the difference. You can't see the garbage that was over here or the top of her head or her feet or the door that was over there. So it's, it's obviously a, a lot different, you know. So this is just for those who have a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens and are, you know, looking to upgrade. So this just shows you what you'll be able, you know, how much more focal range you'll be able to see. So this will be the last part of this review and uh, pretty in-depth, um, you know, look at the lens. So we're just going to do a quick depth of field test here. Right now the focus is on this first um, candle and uh, we're just going to be moving it back and forth so you guys can see. It's honestly not going to be that apparent because the aperture is, you know, at f4 as opposed to like a 1.8 or a 2.8 lens. But uh, you know, just so you guys can see what it looks like. So let's take a look. And right now it's zoomed out to infinity. And now we're gonna bring it back. Also another thing to mention, um, the closest distance that you can focus this lens is uh, one and a half feet. And that's also the same with the 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. So that wraps up this review. If you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments. 
See ya.